today we are at the combination of the Cultural Arts Coalition and the professional artists associated with that and with the South Mountain High School student artists. And we're at the Fletcher Library here at ASU West. The Cultural Arts Coalition has helped the community by bringing a voice to artists, by allowing our student artists and professional artists to get their art out into public spaces and to get our artists noticed. We, we really consider this the highlight of our spring semester, to have you here on campus. Judy and I were talking about this is what we think the ninth year. Ninth year! We really hope you enjoy it here and we love having your artwork, so thank you very much. Appreciate thank you. I would like to introduce a couple of the teachers that are participating with us today. There is Mrs. Kunis. This is Miss Killian, Alex Killian, Miss Spiegelman, Miss Chavez, and I would also like to introduce Mr. Responsible. I'd like to introduce uh, Megan McRae. Art is important in my life because it helps me convey my emotions or what I'm feeling at a certain time and it helps me reach to other people and help me, like, if I can't express myself with words, I can convey it with my art. Miss Budzi? The professional artists I'm going to introduce you to in just a moment because it is also with them that they've come into your schools at various times and work with you and will work with you in the future and uh, learn from them. This particular exhibition was important to me because of our political situation in the world right now, not just locally but in the world, and about the fact that immigration to me is a very important subject and one that needs to be honored and celebrated. So when we look at the concept of traditions and what's been passed down from one generation to the next, it is because of those people that have a way of migrating. And I'm migration, a civil dialogue begins with me, is from each one of those individuals. So I feel very honored today to let you know that three of my uh, professional artists, the three that will be speaking with you today, are all immigrants to this country and bring with them invaluable knowledge and wealth of creative talent. A lot of people have many different ways of communicating. Art is something that you can go to and get history from and that is a form of communication in my idea because it just allows you to like look back and learn something you're educated just by seeing art because it has that story it has that sense of relief anger fear and it just kind of helps you understand the world a little bit better hi my name is Mitra Kamali I have migrated in this country after my high school. I must say I have chosen this country to live in because it's a country of immigrants and um, it's a beautiful place and I think we should take advantage of it and be all united because we are all members of the same family of humans. So when they asked me where you're from, I said, yeah, I was born in Europe, but I'm from planet Earth and my race is human. This reminds me of a nice poetry that a 13th century Persian poet by name of Saadi, S-A-A-D-I, who is a great human being, has said so many years ago, and I'm going to share that with you because it encompasses all the things I want to say in a small, elegant poetry. It says, the name of it is Unity of Mankind. It says, human beings are members of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. If one member afflicted by pain, other members uneasy will remain. If you have no sympathy from human pain, the name of human you cannot retain. I remember the best memory I have from my childhood is when I was a little girl, my mom got me a set of wash paint in a little jar, the black, you know, in the little glass jars. And I created, there was only three primary color and three secondary color. Just with six color, I could make all the colors of the rainbow and I was so proud of myself. We don't need a lot of stuff to make a lot of things, to make a lot of noise. 
I made so many paintings on different surfaces just by using gouache, mixed media, found objects, I did so many things. So please don't feel there is plenty of things available to say what you have in your heart and have a dream, have a vision, spend time on it, it's worth it to come out. I love to work with children. I have children who are 12 years old and I love a school. I'm very happy that Judy Batsy and um, CAC, Cultural Art Coalition, that I've worked with them for so many years, allowed me, I'm very honored, to come here and share this passion with you. It starts with a passion and it needs a little ignite and you just go to it and you glow. You glow beautifully. Art is very important in my life because it doesn't confine me into a certain, you know, culture or anything. Through art, I can just express whatever I want. I can um, express a certain culture or express a, an idea, an idiom, um, something that is very important to myself as well as other people. And art can pretty much display everything, um, whether it be social injustice or cultural differences. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for coming. My name is Tony Nguyen. I'm a Vietnamese refugee. I came to America in 1975 to the program and also all people. I've been working with Intel for 33 years with Intel Corporation. So my work is really with technology abstract. To all, I find a parallel between the technology and humanity. Sometimes we humans, we get so easy for us to be a machine than to be a human being. And we allow the technology to take over our humanity. So my, my job as an artist is to try to find a balance between the humanity and the technology, how where we go from here. And most of my work is dealing with nature. I go hiking every week, most of the time twice a week with my dog. And the work, I use a lot of recycled material to deal with it. And while I'm working full-time with Intel and be a full-time artist, I also involved with um, animal welfare with the shelter. I work with uh, Arizona Animal Welfare and area of the, the county shelter to deal with the animal, also with the refugee and the hungry. Because I believe the country in Britain we are, we spend so much money on weapon, but we cannot get enough money to involve investment, our children, education, health, and food. There's so many hungry people in this country. It is amazing. Uh, so most of my work dealing with all this nation communicate, and as far the art, the, it enriched my life. And the artist, I think art is just a tool to discover who you are. That, that variety, you can be a writer, you can be anything, you will artistic. What it does is allow you to discover and break inside of you and find a way to express yourself. So I hope you continue to do what you do, search within yourself, don't let the technology take over you as humanity and make it do you into a robot. I feel that traditions inspire both our student artists as well as our, our professional artists that we're working with um, by having them look at their own cultures as well as other cultures throughout the world and seeing both similarities and differences. Specifically, I had my students look at some uh, Pacific Northwest tribes as well as Polynesian tribes and really looking at their creation story as well as their own culture's creation story to see how it might be similar as human beings. This is the Iropis tribe creation story and it's the development of the tribe itself, um, the earth, um, how they believed it was created and the beginning of a new life. Art is important in my life because it keeps me connected with who I used to be and who I am now. It's really fun to do too, so that's really a good, big part of it. I want to say thank you to Cultural Arts Coalition and ASU West for inviting us and have this opportunity to share with you, to uh, express ourselves to the art and connect with all the students. And I want to say thank you to South High, High School also for the uh, kindness and, and, and the warm welcoming that I have over there with my workshop and 
I want to say thank you to all the students who participated with me in that workshop. I want to tell you a little bit of who I am and what I do. I am an artist from Mexico, from Guadalajara. And uh, what I do is uh, art that is inspired by the ancient Mexican culture. I was inspired especially from my city of Jalisco with the Guirarica culture, or the Michoel culture, which is from Iranian. And um, I realized that through the expression of symbolism and color, you can uh, you can get to know other cultures and you get to know the people. And especially in these times, as the artists were mentioned, an artist have a commitment with the, uh, with, the with the humanity as human beings. First of all, you know, we, we need to share who we are, what we do, and the reason is is to express ourselves, get to know yourself first, and keep keep trying, keep keep uh, don't let the fear that you. My artwork is called Blooming Lacrimose. It has to do with trans culture. So basically, it starts off with my transition. It's my story, as basically. Um, so it pretty much speaks about the face, which is something I asked my mom to give me. Something very meaningful to her, which meant something about her. And it kind of is the relief that she could have that her child is growing into someone that she could be proud of, that she feels is going to have a good life because that's all she ever wanted for them. The butterfly means my growth, which means that I am flying, I'm achieving higher places, and I'm going to go far in my life because I have that confidence too. The heart, it represents all the people I have met up till now, basically saying that everyone supports me and I support myself. I have that confidence in myself and my heart can grow big because I allow it to while everyone here is just engaging in who I am and being interested in who I am and loving who I am. And what people don't really see is the plant right here. The plant actually means my transition. It means my growth. It means this is who I am. This is who I've become. And it's basically a full-grown plant, kind of just like people whose bodies, in a way, are kind of like plants. And then the final piece is maybe something people don't recognize, which is the woman right there. Um, she represents me. She represents the person that I've become, that I've allowed myself to become, and basically saying goodbye to who I was, but thanking them for everything they put me through, because it made me stronger and it never killed my heart. It never killed my soul, so. We were doing research on ancient tribes around the world, and I chose to um, depict an ancient god from the Aztec culture. It's a god to being one of the most powerful and respected gods in the culture, and well, me being born in Mexico, I felt a personal connection towards the culture, so I decided to depict one of the gods. My inspiration was seeing the different cultures and stuff we studied in class, and how they believed in certain types of like animals and did like things to like celebrate them. You get to experience what they did and how it could be brought into our modern day and how we could still celebrate it, but still bring our technology and stuff into it. If we didn't have traditions, we wouldn't be able to tell our stories beforehand, and we wouldn't be able to learn from them. My piece of art is named Self, and it's a blind contour drawing, painting. So the name of the art piece is actually a phrase. We ink, we think, tattoos to idioms, do you know what we mean? And so the whole idea of this was to portray that Communication can happen in many different ways, whether it be speaking in different languages or simply through images. And one way that you can communicate through images dates back to before images were p posted on canvases. And that was skin. And so 
A very ancient style of tattooing would be the Polynesian culture. My brother actually has a tribal tattoo. His tattoo actually has different tribal patterns, as well as the Tongan flag, which is where we're from. Tattoos, I feel as though, should still keep that idea that in order to get one, you should have a reason to it, and that it should be intentional, and that each and every tattoo that you get has a very important idea behind it. And so this piece was created to show that. My social issue was animal abuse. Purple represents animal abuse and the little bone is for dogs. We wanted to show that tradition was still alive and whenever we were looking at different traditions, we saw that a constant in them was family, animals, beliefs, and passion. So with those consistencies, we decided to make this quilt. I feel art is a form of communication by allows artists to express who they are and show people a different side of themselves. A piece of artwork is titled The Great Divide. The story behind this is of two lovers, the sky, Ranji, and the earth, Papa. They are tightly embraced because they love each other and in the center they have kids, but their kids are in the darkness. Their kids, they want to be in the light, so they come up with a plan to separate their parents. And in the second frame, the forest child, he succeeds in separating them. And they're really shocked and they're hurt because they want to be together forever and their kids separated them to be in the light. It's ironic because the people who they love separated them from each other. The arts need to be preserved in Arizona as well as our nation because that's how we learn as human beings. The arts, again, is a very synergistic discipline. It's an interdisciplinary discipline in the sense that we bring many, many people together and the art itself, as well as the creation, is meaningful. So, and ultimately, if you look back at ancient cultures, it's what we know of ancient cultures is through their artwork. To any artists or anyone out there that are looking to art, I feel as though you should just really Go with your heart. Do whatever you wish to do. Aspire to transcend culture and communicate new, new and improved ideas. Art helps with um, history and cultures and communication because messages are tied through art and art changes the world. Art can create uprising, it can create movements, it can get messages out for people who are unrepresented, who, who don't have a voice. Art can speak for them. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!